Hello viewers, let's see calendar questions. The questions such as how to find the day of the week when the date is given. Let's start. To find the day of the week, you need to memorize some tables. To solve any type of calendar questions, you need to memorize some tables. The first is the days table. You know the days of the week, each day has some values. Sunday, the value is 0. Monday, 1. Tuesday, 2. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Saturday. Then coming on to the months, the value for the month, Jan 0 and October 0. Feb it's 3, March 3 and also November 3. Then April 6 and July 6. May it's 1, June it's 4, August 2, September it's 5 and December it's 5. I use this mnemonic to remember the code of each month. Next is the year table. And if the year So the corresponding value, value for these years. So if it is year it's 0, then it is 5, 3, 1, 6, 4, 2. And again the same repeats after 28 years. So it's again 0, 5, 3, 1, 6, 4, 2. So the next set of 28 years will have the same value 0, 5, 3, 1, 6, 4, 2. So you can make a table like this for the year table. For the year, take the last two digits and if it is 0 or the last two digits, if you divide by 4 and if the quotient is 0 or if it is 7 or if it is 14 or if it is 28, then the corresponding value you have to substitute as 0. And if the year, take the year and divide it by 4, if the quotient is 1 or if the quotient is 8 or if the quotient is 15 or if the quotient is 29 then the corresponding value you have to substitute as 5 and take the year divided by 4 if the quotient is 2 or 9 or 16 or 30 then the corresponding value of the substitute is 3 take the uh, year divide the last two digits divided by 4 if the quotient is 3 or 10 or 17 or 31 then it will be the corresponding value will be 1 and if it is 4 or 11 or the 18 or 32 then it will be 6 and if it is 5 or 12 or 19 or 33 then it is 4 and if it is 6 or 13 or 20 or 34, then the corresponding value you have to substitute is 2. So this is for the year table. Century code you have to substitute by solving the problem. If the year goes from uh, this to this, then the code is 6. And if it is here, then 4, then it is 2. If it is between these years, then it is 0. Between these here, you have to substitute 6. Let's see how to solve this type of question. What was the day of the week on 17 June 1998? So, this is type 1. So, to solve this, first 17 is the date. Take the date. Then the month is June. June. What is the code for the month June? For the uh, June month, the code is 4. Let's take that code. Then the year. Year is 1998. So take the last two digits and divide it by 4. If you take the last two digits of the year and divide it by 4, the quotient will be it's 24 and the reminder it's 2. So now for the quotient 24, 24 which is the code 1. So take that for the quotient 24, the code is 1. And the reminder is 2. Take the quotient code and plus the reminder. 
and you have to add the century code. Century code for 1998 is 0. Now, for the year, we have to add this one. 1 plus 2 plus 0, which is 2. Now, let's add all these. So, on adding, you will be getting 24. After adding everything, just divide it by 7. To find the day of the week. So, if we divide 24 by 7, the quotient will be 3 and the reminder will be 3. Now, we have to take only the reminder. The reminder 3. For 3, if it is 3, then the day is Wednesday. So, it's Wednesday. The answer is Wednesday. So, so to find the day of the week, first take the date, then the code for the month. Corresponding code for the month is here. Next, the year. Then take the last two digits of the year and divide it by 4. Take the quotient and the reminder. For the quotient, find the corresponding code. That code plus the reminder plus the century code. If you add this, you will come to know what is the code for the year. Then add all. Then divide the answer by 7 and the reminder. You have to take the reminder when divided by 7. What is the reminder? That reminder, if it is 3, what is 3 corresponds to the day? Wednesday. So the day of the week can be found like this way as Wednesday. Then next, what was the day of the week on 28 May 2006? So the date here, date is year 28 and the month is May. For the May, the code is 1 and the year. Take the year, the last two digit of the year and divide it by 4. If you divide it by 4, the quotient will be 1 and the reminder will be 2. And for the quotient 1, the code is 5. For the quotient 1, the code is 5 and the reminder, you have to add the reminder whatever it is. Plus the century code. The century, this is 2006. It means that the, this comes in this category. So the code is 6. You have to add the century code. So adding all these, 5 plus 2 plus 6, which is 13. Then sum up all this, which will be 42. And then divide this by 7. So you will be getting the quotient 6 and the reminder as 0. It take on the reminder. If the reminder is 0, it corresponding to the day Sunday. So it's Sunday. 28 May 2006 is Sunday. Next, what was the day of the week on 16 July 1776? So first the date. Date it's given as 16. And the month. Month it's year July. For the code for the July is 6. And the year. Here, year it's 1776. So take the last two digits and divide it by 4. Quotient will be 19. And the reminder. Reminder will be 0. So now for the year, take the quotient. 19 code. 19. Code is 4. And the reminder is year 0. Then you have to add the code for the century. And here 1776. 1776 in this category. So the code is 4. You have to add the code 4. Now 4 plus 4, 8. Add all these. So it will get 30. And then divide this answer by 7 to find out the day of the week. So 30 divided by 7. Quotient will be 4. And the reminder will be 2. You have to take only the reminder to find the day of the week. If the reminder is 2, day of the week is Tuesday. Hey, 16 July is Tuesday. 16 July, 1776, Tuesday. Next one, what was the day of the week on 11? Jan, 1820. So the date is 11. Jan, code is 0. And it's 1820. Here, if the year is a leap year and if the month is Jan or February, then you have to subtract 1 in the month. Whatever the month code, just do subtraction with 1. Again, if the year is a leap year and if the month is Jan or Feb, if it is Jan or Feb, then 
you have to reduce 1 in the month code. Whatever the month code, just reduce 1. Then, the year. Year is 1820. So, you take the last four, two digits and divide by 4. Quotient is 5 and the reminder is 0. So, for the quotient 5, the code is 4. And the reminder is here 0. Then you have to add the century code. What is the century code? 1820. So the century code is 2. Now the year will be the summation of this which is 6. Then add. So here 0 minus 1 which will be equal to minus 1. So it means that 11 minus 1 which will be 10. 10 plus 6 16. Then take the 16 and divide by 7. Quotient is 2 and the reminder is 2. You have to take the reminder 2. So 2 code is, it's Tuesday. So it means that 11 Jan 1820 is Tuesday. Here you have to note that if the year is a leap year and if the month comes as Jan or Feb, then you have to reduce minus 1 to the month code. If suppose, if suppose, instead of the month Jan, if it is September, what is 11 September 1820? If the question is like that, then you will be taking the date first. Then the code for the month September which is 5. Then the year. Year is a leap year and even if it is a leap year no need to bother because the month is not Jan or Feb. It is September. So for September whatever the code it is you can add it. And then the year. Year it's take the last two digits divide by 4 and the quotient is 5 and the reminder is 0. So you have to take that one. The quotient Code for the quotient, the 5, quotient is 5, so find out the code for this, which means that 4, and then the reminder, plus the century code, century code is 2, add everything, and then sum up this 1, which is 22, then divide it by 7, quotient is 3, and the reminder is 1. We have to take only the reminder. So if the reminder is 1, it means that the day is Monday. So 8, 11 September 1820 is Monday. So in the previous problem, as the month is January and if it is a leap year, here for the month code I reduce 1. But here I didn't do because the month is not Jan. It is September. So no need to reduce whatever the code for the month you have to take can take and do it. Let me give another example. If 11 Jan 1821, if it is, then to find out the day of the week, take the date and the code for the month which is 0. And here, check the year. Year is not the leap year. So take the last two digits and divide it by 4. Quotient is 5 and the reminder is 1. And the code for the quotient 5 is 4. You have to take the code for this which is 4 plus the reminder plus the century code. Century code is 2. Sum up all these and then add everything. Then divide it by 7. Quotient is 2 and the reminder is 4. So, if the reminder is 4, then it corresponds to the date Thursday. So, the answer is Thursday. 